So today I want to talk about the major scale. And the major scale is like the basis for the entire system of music theory. Who brought the book with them? Can you look at what chapter that is? System that's been used for centuries that uses these syllables, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. These syllables have a name that's called solfege. It's also written like this with e on the end, either way. And these are called solmization syllables. on the test. So by now, everybody should be familiar with half steps and whole steps. Is there anybody who still feels uncomfortable with half steps and whole steps? No? Okay, good. All right, so sol solfege syllables function on a major scale like this. <clears throat> Here's Do. The do, Re, Mi, Fa, Numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Okay, so these numbers have a lot of function in music theory as well. If you want to calculate the distance from one note to the next, <laughs> let's say from this note to that note, we call that a third because it goes to three one, two, three. Okay, if we want to calculate the distance from this note to this note, that's called a fifth. Okay, so when we're playing the piano, here's the scale. Here's the scale. Here's a third, right? Get it? Okay. So when you write it out like a chord, right here, here or uh, two notes at the same time, a third looks like that or like this. So those are thirds. Get it? So if you see this interval here, There's a third right there, right? 
So there's one. So what's this? C to G. Well, if we go up the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. G is right here, isn't it? Here's C and there's G, right? So C to G is a fifth, right? Get it? My flies look terrible today. Okay, now, what you should notice is that when it's a third, it's line line. Okay, if you start on a space, it's space space. These are thirds. So if I go like this, come on. See, that's the third right there, right? Mm -hmm. If I go like this, that's the third right there. Make sense? Okay. So a fifth, after that, a fifth would be the very next line up. So if that's a third, here's a fifth. Space, space. If it's on a line, line, line. These are fifths and these are thirds. Okay, so if you have a, a note here, everybody sing this note. La. make the basis of chord progressions and once you have <coughs> chord progressions you've got songs right see the stepwise motion so our job was to first learn half steps and whole steps because half steps and whole steps create the major scale and once we learn the major scales then we learn the intervals the thirds and fifths and sixths and sevenths then after we learn that we learn the chords and after the chords we learn the chord progressions and then you can see how music is put together with chord progressions. Has anybody heard the term chord progressions before? In classical music, sometimes people refer to them, well, most of the time, people refer to a chord progression. It's called cadence in classical music. In the 20th century, they call it a progression, you know. Some people still call it a cadence in jazz, but usually it's called progression. Anyway, so the major scales, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? Okay. So what's the construction of a major scale? <coughs> a formula, right, Tommy? What was the formula? Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step. Half step, whole step, link. <coughs> and as my friend Urson in Baton Rouge, Louisiana likes to call it, a whole step tie to the next one. <coughs> so that's the formula for a major scale. 
This <coughs> is the formula. Memorize that formula. You understand, Mike? Yes. Yeah, okay. Everybody? Daisy, you good with that? So that formula creates the sound of the scale. So from the first <coughs> note to the second note, somebody give me a note, Lindsay. D. D. So I need a whole step above D, right, to go to the next note. And then I need another whole step. Oh, whole step. To make it a major scale. See what I did? I actually played a half step, and it's not a major scale. I have to make a whole step. Then another half step, whole step, whole step, half step. So the whole step creates the sound of the major scale. If it's not a whole step in the right order, it's some other kind of scale, right? So everything's based on the formula. That formula makes it sound like a major scale. If it's another kind of scale, the formula <coughs> changes. Okay? Like, for example, what's the formula for a minor scale? Don't know yet. We got whole step, half step, whole step. That'd be a minor. See how, see how it works? Different scales have different formulas, get it? So everything's based on the major, so this formula makes the notes comply. The notes have to comply with the formula to be a major scale. That's why we have sharps and flats. So we add the sharps and flats to comply strictly with this formula. This is the home base, this formula. Minor is a different formula, and there's other things, other many and millions of scales. But the major scales, we start with the major scale, then we learn the minor. Okay. So there's the formula. Okay, so the steps to learn the scales, our first step is alphabetical order. So somebody give me a note. Mm -hmm. Mike. C. No, oh, he didn't do a C. Give me another note besides C. C is easy. A. A. So we have to follow step one. So write A on your sheet there. On the staff. Can you get some paper? Mm -hmm. Got me? Yeah, I did. Can you write it down? Yeah, but it was our homework too. Oh, you already did it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got A. So, <coughs> Daisy, help me out here. What's the next thing I do? Um, I have to write in alphabetical order, right? So you go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody with me on that? Yeah, okay. Step two, Jeanette. Um, Bring the, the formula. Formula. Now, I've been teaching this for like 36 years. And what happens is a lot, almost every time these students, they start writing the scales and then they put in the formula before, they put in the sharps and flats before they do these steps. And they always screw it up inadvertently. They screw it up unless they're really good at music theory. But if you follow these steps in order, you'll have this down for life, okay? So then you put in the formula, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, link, or as there's someone say, whole step, tie. Whole step, whole step, half step. I can't do a Louisiana accent <laughs> very well. Okay, so there's the formula for a major scale. So step three, Daisy. Do you know? Yeah. 
Okay, so now, who wants to analyze this scale? Mike. A to B, how far is that? All step. All step, so that's good. We don't have to change it, right? But now we got B to C, right? And we need to make it a meter scale, we need to make it a whole step, right? <coughs> B to C is not a whole step, is it? No. So what do we got to do? Sharp it. Sharp which one? C. C. Why don't we make this one B flat? Um, <coughs> that wouldn't be a whole step. It would change this one, right? Wouldn't it? Yeah. So we can't do that, can we? Since this one has to be it, right? Okay. Do we make that C sharp? Okay, good. Now, next, <coughs> we need a half step, right? So C sharp to D, is that already a half step? Yes. Yeah. So we're good there, right? Now we need our whole step tie. <coughs> D to E, is that already a whole step? Okay. Now, what I'm doing is I put these curves <coughs> on here after I check it off. That's just my way of knowing it's already done. <coughs> I put these little curves here. All right, E to F, is that a whole step? No. No, so what do I need? F sharp. F sharp. Now we need F sharp to G, what's that? We need a whole step, right? G sharp. G sharp. And then G sharp to A, that's already a half step, isn't it? So you get it? Okay, so the key of A has how many sharps in it, Daisy? How many sharps are in the key of A here? One, two, three, right? Oh, yeah. So key of A has three sharps. And this is the key of A. The bass clap. Can you write that down? We got it. Can I race? Okay, so there's the three steps. Okay, so Lindsay, pick a note. G. G's a good one. All right, <laughs> let's do both clefs. So G's here. Now, which where's G on this one? Bass clef. Everybody's always weak in the bass clef. Remember this? Good boys do fine always. Remember that? Think back. Back to the 20th century. All cows. The spaces are all cows eat grass, right? So G's here, right? Right? So G. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, step one, what do we do?
what's the first step? Okay. Alphabetical order, right? So we put in the notes without regard to sharps and flats, right? So we go G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right? So people are going to say, well, doesn't it have a, does it have a sharp? Yeah, that's step three. Every single time. Doesn't it, wait a minute, doesn't G have, doesn't D have this sharp and this sharp? Yeah, that's step three. You got to learn this technique of telling people, hey, it's step three. Okay, so we put the formula in. Daisy, you want to analyze this now? G to A, what do we got? Um, What's G to A? That's good then, right? Mm -hmm. What about A to B? Um, whole step, right? Mm -hmm. What about B to C now? Right, so this is good so far, huh? So this part of the scale is already good, isn't it? No problem, right? Now, next one, we need a whole step link, right? So what's that? C to D, is that a whole step? Yeah, okay. Now next is D to E, how far is that? If you get confused, just look on the number line. D to E, how far is that? How far is D to E on your number line? Whole step or half step? Um, uh, is it a whole step? Is it? Take a look. Here's D. Here's E. So that's a whole step, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that confusing? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah? Okay. So D to E is a whole step. Now what about this one? E to F. What's that? You have a look on your number one. Oh, half step. Half step, right? <laughs> but for the formula to make it a major scale, we need it to be a whole step, right? So how do you make that a whole step from E? F sharp. F sharp, good. And lastly, F sharp to G. How far is that? Look on your number one. F sharp to G. How far is that? It's a half step. It's a half step, and we want a half step, right? Mm -hmm. Make sense now? Yeah. Okay, so there's the second part of the scale. So the key of G has how many sharps? Just one, right? The key of G has one sharp. See the key signature? One sharp is G. You guys get it? Okay. Okay, you got an extra sheet? Yeah.
Jeanette, your turn. What key is this? Make sure, make sure you know it's exactly on this line. B. B what? B flat. B flat, good. Everybody see that? So that's the key of B flat. Okay, so what's the first step? We Vroom, right? Definitely. Everybody say that with me. <laughs> so we go like this B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, right? Don't forget that on both ends, right? Okay. Daisy, what's the formula? Mm. Just the formula. Whole, whole half, right? Yeah. Then what, Jeanette? Oh, then Holstead have the formula. That's on Rouge, Louisiana. Oh, uh, Holstead tie, right? Tie. Or link. Okay. Call it what you want. <laughs> link. <laughs> Ties, all right. Oh, it okay. ties. Holstead. Whole step, whole step, half step. Now analyze it. What's B flat to C? It's a whole step. That's a whole step, right? So we're good, right? So put a line like that. See how I, I, that's how I check it off. Yeah. Okay, now C to D. What's that? You need a flat, I think, C to D. C to D, we need a, it's supposed to be a whole step, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a whole step. So what do we got here? What's C to D? Look on your number line, it's right there. Press a hook. Well, do you need a B, D flat to make it? Oh, no. What does your number line say? What's a whole step above C? D. So, yeah, you do have the half step. Okay. So now we need a half step, right? D. What's a half step above D? Has the D, no, E flat. E flat, right? Yeah. Why don't we use D sharp? Because you can have flats and sharps together. If we use D sharp instead, it screws that up, right? Oh, alphabetical order. Alphabetical order, yeah. Right? It'll take the So we don't want to use D sharp because that would eliminate E, wouldn't it? Yes. <coughs> okay. So E flat, then we want a whole step from E flat. How do we do that? You need F flat. Look on your number line. It's already a whole step F to G. Oh, yeah. It's already a whole step. E to E flat to F, right? Yeah. Now we need a whole step here, right? So what do we got? What's a whole step above F? It will be F flat? No. F flat. Why is that wrong? Because it's already, never mind, yeah. Because it'll throw the formula. Oh, good, right? Yeah, it's already a whole step. It's already a whole step, right? Yeah. Okay, G to A, what's a whole step above G? It's already a whole step. Okay. G. And now we need a half step above A, right? Yes. So it's already we, there. It's already there, right? So what do we got? How many flats in this key? We got three flats. Actually, this oh, is the same as the first one. Oh, yes, one. two flats. Right. So the key of B flat has two flats. Okay, so the notes here would be B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat down there. Okay, so that should be flat scale. Make sense, Daisy? A little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. We got it? Can I erase it? Okay, let's do a new one.
Okay, Mike, your turn. What's the first note there? Uh, e. E, right? Then what? Alphabetical. Room, right? Yeah. Everybody say it with me. Room. I guess you don't want to, huh? <laughs> Okay, then what? The formula. Formula. Right. In your honor today, I'm going to use green for the formula. Okay. So let's write the notes in now. Getting it? How is it, Daisy? You understand that? A little bit? Yeah. Jeanette? Yeah. Gabby? Yeah. Lindsay? Okay, now, that's how I make major scales, right? Every note can make a major scale, right? So, what's the first chord? Do we ever talk about what the first chord is in the, in the scale? A chord called the tonic chord. is the one, three, and five of the scale. <coughs> That's our chord. That's our key of the scale. So if we have this scale, E, we got to go up the scale, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, right? Okay, 
Okay, Lindsay, your turn. Yep. Then, right? Okay. To G is there your whole step? Okay. G to A is a whole step. Uh huh. A to B is not a half step, so it needs to be B sharp. B sharp, B sharp? I mean, no, not B sharp. B flat, B right? Flat, yeah. Okay. Because B sharp is. And then. We need to whole step after that, right? Yeah. Um, C flat. B flat to C, look on the other line. Oh no, just kidding, that's a whole step. Just kidding, I love that phrase. Uh, just kidding! C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. And then E to F is a natural half step. It's already a half step, right? So the key of F has one flat. We write it like this, right? The flat is B flat, so we put it on the B line, right? So what's the tonic chord, Mike? Uh, F, A, C. Right. Make sense? Mm -hmm. right. You guys got it? Daisy? Selma? Yeah. Okay, then what? Um, put in the formula. Formula. Okay, now I analyze it, right? So what's A flat to B? How far is that on your number one? To B, A flat. A flat to B, yeah. That's more than a whole step, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So that's not right, is it? So we've got to fix it, right? How do we do that? B flat. B flat. Okay, then what? We need a whole step from B flat. C. C. Then we need a half step from C. Um, D flat. D flat, right? So the key for A flat has how many flats? Well, the two outer ones are the same one, right? So we don't count this one twice. We just go one, two, three, four flats. And when you see a key signature where there's four flats on each note that's flatted, that's our key signature. Okay, Mike, what's the tonic chord? A flat, C. E flat. 
A flat, C, E flat. You guys understand that? Here's the tonic chord. As your one, three, and five, right? We good? How many of these did you already do? We did A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, so we need your chromatic number one there, the big one. All right, so everybody understands this, so here's their homework assignment. G, right? So the key of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Everybody did all those. So now we're going to do the other keys. So we want key of B flat, uh, D flat, E flat, uh, G flat, and A flat. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we want C sharp. So there's 12 keys there. C sharp? Yeah, we want C sharp key as well. So those are all the keys that we do on Monday, okay? So if you didn't, if you didn't get the other ones, then you gotta do all 12 of them on these sheets, okay? And then we want the scale written out three times, then the formula three times, and then analyze three times, and then once we get that done, we put in the tonic chord over to the right. Make sense, Mike? Yes. Okay, so now I want to give you guys a couple more extra sheets in case we actually should do one more key. We should do F sharp as well. So let me give you some more sheets.
Now also, write your name on each sheet. That way, it doesn't get lost in the stack. So you see how we're going to do this? We're doing it here. We just do the steps. We just put in a scale here, do the same thing here, do the same thing here. Just drill one, two, three times in a row. Then the formula. Put the formula in here, put the formula in here. Put the formula in here. Then the next step, analyze. Analyze here, analyze here, analyze here. You put in the sharps and flats three times on each key. Just remember the technique of learning. Boom, 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 boom. Then over here on this side, just put the chord, the tonic chord over here. That's for Tuesday, okay? Need some help, Jason? Um, no. Yeah. Can you email me? How about you guys? You good? I just put in the middle to make sure it was open since I wasn't here on Tuesday. Oh, it's all right. Don't worry. Okay. It's fine. I don't know about So, I need 12 of these? All, all 12 pieces. Are you sure? Uh, okay. We got two more? <coughs> for each one? Yeah, I got them. But we should have 12 total, maybe 13, because you got to ask someone for mistakes. So the first step is that it's for A, since I was in Tuesday? Oh, we did this one. We did. We assigned this one last time. That was due today, but we'll call it the next time. Okay, so then... So I now we're assigning this one to everybody who did, already did the first assignment. You get it, Jeanette? I did. Um, professor, I just have a question about your third and fifth. Uh-huh. Um, I was a little, like, okay, I think you said, let me see, the... I to find my light in my... Don't you hate that when you're looking for something? Yeah, it's like, this, okay. So the C line, it's since it's a treble clef, it doesn't go on the A, F, C, on the third, on the third um, staff the line. the treble clef. On the, yeah. Pens don't work. There's C right there, or right. there's C right there. So the third, Third is two lines up, right? C E G or C one line up, right? There's a third there, and there would be a space, right? Oh, you mean the line? Line or space? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So if you have okay, if you have a note here, a third is just going to be one line up. If you have a note here, a third is just going to be one line up. If you have this note here, a third is going to be one line up. If you have a note here, a third is going to be one line up. If you have a note here, a third is just going to be one line up. Get it? Yes. Okay, next one, spaces. If you have a note here, a third is going to be one space up, right? Yeah. If you have a note here, a third is going to be one space. Yes. If you have a note here, a third is going to be one space, right? Yeah, I just... If you yeah. have a note down here, a third is going to be one space, That's right? Exactly. Good. I just, yeah, I just got confused because you said C, and so for me, C was like up on the third. Here's a C here. Yeah, that's the only thing here's I Here's a C here in the treble clef, right? Yeah. In the bass clef, here's a C here. Yeah. And then here's a C here, and here's a C here in the bass clef, right? These three are in the bass clef. Yes. You should so, probably write that down. So you chose, you chose the other. Any, any one you want. Okay. So write this down, copy this down. These are all thirds. And these are all thirds here. And the chord is thirds and fifths, right? Yes. So we just add one more on top of that to make a chord, right? right. Get it? Yes. Okay. And then, yeah, I just got confused because of the C. It just threw me out, I don't know. It's I, all right. I guess because I was... And I didn't want to ask a stupid question because I know some Always of them... Always ask stupid questions. That's what this class is for. <laughs> I know some of them know this so well and it's just, I don't want, I didn't want to bore them. Hey, people come in at all levels, it doesn't matter. We're going to go slow. If they get bored learning it, that's too bad, right? Yeah, 
just. <laughs> this is the fundamentals of fundamentals class.